fuck, I'm watching this, I was watching this really funny movie on one of those special channels that just weird movies come across. I didn't get the name of it, fuck. And have a go at this, there's this, there's this dude, looks a bit like me. He's not, he's not short or anything either, he's like 178 centimetres or something. So he's, he's almost six foot. But have a go at this. These people can't get to him. He's he's a successful businessman of some type, and they can never get to him. They, they they can't bully him. They can't make him feel like you know he's missing out on something. That he's uh, he, they can't make him feel insecure about something about his looks, about his height, about his well not his height but about his muscles, about or anything he does. He's, he's, fuck, it was a funny movie. So they came up with this plan. They would. Because, you, know, you, you know, with AI and all that now. These are the stupid movies that used to come up in the 90s. Now these are the stupid movies that come up in the fucking 2020s. Unbelievable. <laughs> AI. They use AI and they, you know, they track all the people in the in the population where, around him, where he goes, or where he shops, where he goes to work. And they ensure, this government service of some type, they ensure that anybody under 180 centimetres, this is their rule, is not allowed to walk within like a kilometer of him. And this guy, this guy starts walking, walking around, and he picks up a new pattern. He just realizes that where the fuck are all these people that are usually between one hundred and sixty and one hundred and eighty centimeters? What the fuck's going on? This is kind of strange. So he starts waking up in the waking in the morning, and he's like, "I'm actually a bit taller, if anything." So this is strange. What? And because he, he knows he's got like opponents or something, he's, he's some weird cunts after him. Fucking funny movie. And, and, and it's not like they're fucking 50 centimetres taller. So they're getting the tallest of the tallest people they can get. And even then, they're only like five or ten centimetres taller. So they're just, they're not like, wow, towering. They're just not that much taller or something. But it makes him feel good. It's like, haha, we, we're sort of, we're making you feel like you're the shortest in the population, whereas you never used to feel that. Because they can't get to anything else that he does. He, he does. He does everything else well. So they think to themselves, fuck, you know, we're all Caucasian blokes. He's sort of Caucasian. We're all going to walk around him and like make him feel like he's, he's short, missing on something, he needs to get taller. Or... It's fucking... It's, it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. And I just thought to myself, fuck, haven't these cunts studied the Roman history? Fucking five foot four, five foot five, five foot six Romans... Tore the whole Britain apart, and they were all like six foot, six foot five, six foot three. How do you think fucking shorter genetics got into England? Fucking Southern Europeans. When the fucking they, when, when the when the Romans went to fucking uh, went to the far northwest or the far west, they didn't go. Oh, shit, these guns are six foot. <gasps> oh my god, they didn't fucking mean anything. As a matter of fact, they actually found it as a advantage because the taller they are, the floppier they were. If you study Roman history properly, the actual commentaries on the taller people they found north was quite humiliating for the north people. They compared them to giraffes, flimsy boards, floppy things, uh, weak as piss, as fuck, because the Romans are strong. The strength that went into the uh, English didn't come from them natively, it came from the southern Europeans. So, it's not, uh, the Highland spirit and all that is not natively uh, uh, Celtic or anything like that. That would have been introduced by the Romans 2,000 years ago. Being strong and brute and everything that was classically Roman. Fuck me dead. Just look at the stone the stone temples in Malta. Look at everything they built there. I mean, you could argue they're in they're in fucking England too, but that's, I'm not going to go there with me mechanized things and all that. But the point is, no, everything that the fucking Southern Europeans did was brute. The Romans were brute. The strong men were before the age of uh, Highland Games and all that stuff were the Romans. Romans are ruthless. All they did. For 30 years of their life was walk around forests, lift shit, throw shit, bash shit, and that's all they did. So, it, <laughs> yeah, it definitely came from them. And they, you know, they Romanized half of Germania. So even that strong man mentality, lifting up big logs and being a strong German, even that was originally a Roman thing. And then naturally it became absorbed by the Germans. Uh, the German thing to do was certainly engineering thinking, um, just being German, very clever. And that's highly admirable, but it, it was the Romans with the brutes. So I, I, what a stupid... It, it's, it was a funny movie, but, you know, <laughs> don't these cunts watch or study the Romans? 
What the? F what? It's like they were trying to like a uh, insinuate, you know, unless you're the tallest or something, you're not gonna feel secure or. Fuck, it was just funny. I can't put a word on it because it was it was all business orientated. Now, in the business world, that when you're tall, you've apparently got some sort of uh, advantage of being in some you know, dick in a suit. Fuck, haven't they met Napoleon? Jesus Christ, Napoleon bitch slapped the entire fucking Europe. He was a fucking short prick. What was he, five foot fucking six or something? Five foot five? So it's fucking shorter than my nunna. And he fucking remixed all of fucking Europe. Enchiladas ready. Yeah, I mean, I'm no fucking giant, but I'm no short ass either. Five foot ten is technically two inches from fucking six foot. There they are, those fucking. These cunts are all six foot, which is very tall. Well, not very tall, it's a textbook tall, and then very tall is six foot one, six foot two, so forth. But fuck, what a fucking funny thing. What a, it, the mentality of different peoples and different cultures is quite amusing. It's like the Caucasian culture thinks that being tall is an advantage. I don't know what kind of backwards thinking they came from. It's, it, I mean, it's actually a disadvantage in every fucking shape, way, and form. Genetically, uh, even in sport, except for basketball, in some ways in boxing, but... Yeah. Even there's a fine argument X and Mike Tyson and other techniques. So it can be used against you. Uh, so, what a funny movie. What strange and backwards people. Taking people out of the population to fucking make a person look fuck, or feel short. Even though the, the person's absolutely not short. So it's, it was like a contrast effect. It was like, you know, even though you've absolutely got no reason to think you're short and that would be complete delusion, we're going to try and make you feel that way because we can't beat you any other way. And, uh, in the end, that uh, in the end, this person figures it out and just fucking starts laughing, and he beats all of them, all his com on competitors in the, at, at the business level. Fucking funny shit. But fucking the Romans, they should start making more movies on the Romans being short asses, and their testuda, and their, the fucking turtle formation, and everything else they did with the whistle. <laughs> fucking next one, bang! They were ruthless. They didn't give a flying fuck how big you were. If you were hundred foot tall, they took you down. The fucking Romans were fucking brutes. Oh, that's funny shit. If I, if I was going to be anything, I'd want to be a Roman, but just a bit, maybe a bit taller than five foot six, maybe five foot nine or something. Five foot ten. I would want to be six foot one or anything like that. Even six foot's too tall. I mean, the the perfect Roman body, if you ask me, would be yeah, man. Fuck, I like boasting myself. Yeah, I'd, I'd want to be. I'd want to be the exact height as myself. With that Roman tenacity, Jesus, the Romans are fucking brutes. Fuck me dead. You only have to look at the Maltese population, who have probably one of the highest, uh, uh, who are the not highest continuators of Roman genetics, but they have a lot of Roman in them. My surname is a Roman patrician name, which practically means Roman royalty. How funny is that? If I can Google Abella and you see this fucking story about the Abella royal family back from the 14th century, it's like, I'm a royal? Huh? <laughs> I'm fucking homeless, cunt. Yeah, funny shit. No, but they still, you know, rule more, apparently. Fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, you know. So there is this. Yeah, Malt is a multiplicity of many, a multiplicity of uh, cultural influences, but in that is very heavy Roman influence. Because all the knights were, come from nobility, which is Roman patrician. So it's, it makes no difference. It, whether you were from the Roman patrician families and nobility or from the knights, it, it, was just, it was all the same shit in Malta. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, like for instance, I can say my legacy is the Knights of St. John, but that same legacy is the same legacy, is the exact same thing as being a Roman patrician. It's the exact same thing because that's what the knights were. <laughs> Essentially, they, they came back from Rome. And interestingly, the knights of Rome were the cavalry regarded as the cavalry. I mean, Julius Caesar was known as a knight of Rome. Um, so, knights is a cavalier. Knights is no new uh, machination in the Middle Ages. It was something the Romans mastered and probably invented. Uh, the idea of knight, cavalier, the idea of a warrior on a horse, you know, parading around the whole continent. I'm sure people used horses in war for a long time, but not, not the concept of knight. 
Cavalier. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh, you know, if you look at our history, for instance, the Abella family, if you go back to the Spain, there's, you know, the, the, on the Avi, Avia, which is the Roman that is actually A-B-E-L-A, -E that's the actual name of Avia in Spain, the city, that fortified city, that's how they pronounce Abella in Latin. Not to give it to the Spaniards, I mean, that's, a, that's what our surname is, Spanish, but... <laughs> oh, it's funny how it's now A V I L A, not A V E L A, but it, what, that's what it originally is. It's all over. It's you can see it in all their monuments and everything. It's A V E L A. I'm sure you'll even see it on their fucking Wikipedia pages and everything. That the original name of Avila, Avila in Spain, which you might call a villa, is A V E L A. And you look on the fucking logo, the the emblem, because every European city and family always has emblems and coats of arms in Latin. And, but that one's in Spanish. I think, no, is it in Spanish? That one's in Spanish for some reason. And it's it says, City of the city of the God, King, and Knights. And the Knights, you'll notice, are Cabelos. Cabelos. So, you know, there is, there's always been ancient rumors that uh, the, I, uh, Cabelos, 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 uh, that our surname is actually from the name Knight. So, in other words, it's you know, Nathan Knight. So, Abe, Avia, Abella, Cabelos. So, there, some say it means honey and it means this in Hebrew and it means that. But it could very, interestingly, it could be all those things. And the idea of uh, knights, Cabelos, could have came from our surname, which would be like, oh, shit. We invented the knights. Knights came from us. Would have surprised me because it's fucking lots of weird shit came from us. Fuck, we were the ones giving the Grandmaster Lava advice in the 15th, 16th century. Fuck me, that we were part of the royal family of Spain and all sorts of weird shit, all the way back to antiquity. Fucking when we were, whatever we were in the Roman army, generals, etc. Fuck, it's a great, it's a great fucking history. I love it. That's why I love history so much. And yeah, full circle. They should have movies about that, about the short asses that were the Romans that flogged the whole world. Fucking they, when they saw the fucking flimsy six foot plus people, they just saw weakness. They didn't fucking give up. They, they thought it was funny. Especially when they came against warriors, rah, fucking naked and shaking their dick. It was like, what the fuck are we, are these cunts normal? And, and fucking as soon as they saw that, they knew they won. Yeah, how, how can you fucking take a fucking army seriously if they're running at you naked and making fucking gestures like their mother? What the fuck? And that's how they took Britain immediately. It was like, fuck, what's... They've got no chance against us if they're running at us naked. You know, fuck. That's how Rome took the world. Because they were actual fucking brute guns. There was no way in the world you were threatening them or intimidating them by being taller, opening up your arms. Like, you know, when a bear sees you, open your arms and runs because it thinks it's bigger. You're bigger. These guns were fucking stupid. And the Romans knew it. Because the Romans looked at their body and were like, these guys are not strong. These guys are going to be broken in half a second. And the Romans, you, you just touched them. It was like touching a brick wall. You know, you look at me in modern times and I'm comparably stronger to everybody, but if you put me in their population back then, I'm telling you now, I'd probably be the weakest of all of them. But they were strong. You know, the descriptions of the Roman army uh, during the Marian reforms around there, they were strong men. They were... <laughs> they pick you up with one hand. The, the way they trained for th the whole life. There's a reason why at the end of their service they got a lifetime pension. Because they fucking deserved it. They, they were fucking brutal cunts. These movies are funny. What a strange race who does that.